Welcome to Forensics Detectors. I am Dr. Kaja Gasmet and Gas Detector and your five gas exhaust analyzer expert folks. We have been working six months to develop this the most advanced, the most high performance five gas analyzer on the market, hands down. Check it out folks, we're talking carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, hydrocarbons, NOx, and carbon dioxide, the five important gases that one must analyze when they are testing the emissions of a combustion engine, all in one package with a built-in pump, so it draws the air into the analyzer and presents you with the values, the concentration values in high definition, high definition color screen. Look at the side, recharge with the USB at the back. We have a magnet so you can pop on the car or you pop on your equipment and it sits there very nicely taking the sample. And on the other side, folks, check it out. On the top, we have the barb where it draws the air. You pop in the tubing, just very easy. It's a barb connection and you can perform your analysis. It's a beautiful unit. And for the advanced users, we have built-in graphing, built-in data logging, and built-in calibration features that you can undertake yourself following our tutorial videos. Folks, this is no joke, okay? It's an our most advanced unit that Dr. Koz has ever developed, has ever developed, folks, okay? Five gas exhaust analyzer. So what do we get with this, Dr. Koz? What does it come with? Waterproof case calibration certificate signed and dated by our calibration engineer. Very important when it comes to five gas analyzers. It must be correctly calibrated to give you accurate readings. It comes with a color manual that you will follow step by step on how to use it. It also comes with the probe that you pop onto the exhaust tailpipe with an alligator clip, as you could see, just bang, pop it onto the exhaust pipe. Then the air is sucked through the tubing, through the first filter right there, which is a water trap. So as we all know, there's condensation in the exhaust. You have to trap that. It will condense into water and that will be trapped right in that first filter. Then it goes through our particular filter with a bit of charcoal so it can capture the dirty soot that comes out of the exhaust so it doesn't mess up our sensors. Then it gets drawn through the tubing and then onto the analyzer folks. And there we go. We have the high temperature silicone tubing and we just pop it on to the end of the analyzer right there. And that's your setup. Very, very easy, very, very simple and slim. You don't have these big bulky probes like our competitors do. That's not necessary, folks. Believe me, not necessary. Just pop it on, bang, and you're ready to go. It's an efficient unit. It draws about 0.3 liters per minute. So we don't need the bulky connections and bulky cases to put everything together. Not at all, folks, not at all, not here, folks. We're living in 2023, and this is 2023 technology. We're gonna pop the needle in the tubing right over here, okay? We have a simulant exhaust gas with depleted oxygen, high carbon monoxide, and high carbon dioxide, okay? I'm gonna show you the levels as they are, standard levels. That is fresh air levels. And now we're gonna turn on the gas and you're gonna see the numbers going up, okay, folks? You're gonna see them going up and what's going on, gas is being emitted from our calibration reference gas bottle with our regulator. It's going through the filters and being drawn on top of the unit right over there and onto the sensors, folks. And then it takes an analysis and gives you, reports to you with high definition, with high definition, the levels. Now I'm gonna pop that off. And then you can see the numbers now going down because it's drawing now fresh air and it's gonna refresh the sensors back to the baseline zero levels at what they should be. So you get a feel, you get an understanding of how this analyzer operates and responds. Now, you're hearing it buzz, it's vibrating, the LEDs are flashing and you can see the buzzer going off. Now what's going on here, folks, is that we have preset alarm levels. Now you may wanna turn those off not a problem, so it doesn't bother you and it frustrates you, not a problem. We can turn the alarm levels off or we could adjust them or we could adjust them, folks. It's not a problem. Or we could even mute it, bang, just like so. So it's very easy. You could also take the pump as it's always running. You could turn that off so it doesn't use up 
any more battery, but it does come with a large 4,000 milliamp hour battery, folks. 4,000, that's quite a lot, and this can go on for hours upon hours, and data logging days upon days, okay, folks? And also, if you do wanna use it days upon days, just plug up the USB charger to it right there, and it can work continuously forever and ever with the USB power on. It's a beautiful unit, folks. Dr. Koz has thought about all these different aspects. He's read all the different reviews from the competitors. He's figured what's gonna happen, what do people want, and what's the best way to design this high-performance unit? And I've put all those feedback elements into this unit for you folks, for you. And if there's any other feedback, just let us know. Maybe in revision two and three, Dr. Koz can implement it for you. Not a problem at all. I'm always open to positive feedback, folks. Now, I did mention you also get your USB cable and USB charger all in the one package. So when you purchase it, you open it up and you're good to go. Folks, if there's any questions, let us know. Till then, be well, be safe and see you soon.